I'm Rosemary, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be learning the famous Newfoundland fiddle tune, Muscles in the Corner. And I have a game plan for this tutorial. I'm going to break this tutorial up into sections so you can follow along or click ahead wherever you feel you want. So if you're feeling like you're zooming past and you understand all those notes, you've picked it up really quick, you can skip ahead to the end. Or if you are really feeling like you need to have that extra bit of practice, you can go back and re-listen to anything by just clicking on those timestamps. So the flow of this will be that I start with just teaching you the notes. And then after you've learned all the notes, we'll play through the song slowly, then we'll play it at a medium speed. And then if you really feel like you know the notes, you're confident, you wanna keep going, we'll add those extra embellishments and some accents to make it sound like a real fiddle tune. Throughout the whole tutorial, I will also be providing the music up above so you'll be able to follow along with those notes and know exactly where we are in the song. And I will be providing a free PDF linked below in my description box. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with the very basics right now, which is how to play the notes of the tunes. And I'm gonna just show you, I have some tapes on this file in here. Um, the tapes are for which fingers we're putting down on the strings. Um, with violin, it's a little bit different from piano where um, on piano, your finger one is your thumb. Uh, on violin, finger one is your pointer finger. So. On violin, we use one, two, three, and four, pinky being our fourth. With this song, because it's just a very beginner tune, we're just gonna be using our first three fingers. So that's uh, hopefully gonna be a nice visual for you to be able to see. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for how you'd want to better visualize what I'm doing. So let's start with the first half of the tune. And now this tune is broken up into two sections, the A part and the B part. And a lot of fiddle players use that type of terminology, the A section and the B section. Um, some tunes have C and D sections as well. Um, so this tune has two sections, the A and the B, and we're gonna start with the A section. Um, so we'll start by putting one, two, three fingers down on that A string. So our finger now is on the D, the high D. And we're gonna peel those fingers off one at a time. So it'll be three, two, one, zero, D, C sharp, B, A. Those are our notes and it'll sound like this. That's it, easy peasy. So make sure you have one, two, three fingers all down. So when you peel them off, they're already down on the string, ready to go. Uh, we'll try that together. One, two, ready, and. Okay, now we're gonna cross over to the D string and we're gonna put two fingers down. So that is gonna be on our F sharp um, for one note. And then we cross back to that A and then put one finger down to play our B. So that cross is F sharp, A, one. So let's put that together now. One, two, Ready, and. Good. Now we're gonna play the next part of that line, which is A, D2, which is our F sharp, open D, E, which is finger one, F sharp, finger two, back to our E, E. So we play that twice. So that's a little bit more, but it's all on the D string. So it's a little bit easier to um, remember where you're at. So it's open A, we cross over to the D and stay there for a little bit. So we're putting our F sharp down, D, open D, one, two, one, one. Okay, so that's our whole first line of the song. Let's try playing that whole line together. One, two, ready, and okay so now the second part of the a section um, is pretty similar to the first part so we start with the same as the beginning And the only different part is the last probably couple of measures of the song and it's uh, 
the same line if somebody were to sing it muscles in the corner so we're just gonna learn that part there which is a d2 one two zero zero and those notes are a f sharp e f sharp d okay so let's try playing that whole first section our a section of the song okay one two ready and Okay, so that's the whole A section. Let's move on to the B section. So we're gonna start right on that open D string. Then we're gonna cross all the way over to our G string and place our finger one on that tape, which is our A, our low A. And so when you cross over to that string, you have to open up your armpit quite a lot to reach that note. And some people, fiddle players, you might see they cross like this, but you really, if you can open that armpit, air out that stink, get it right over to the, the G string there. Um, sometimes if people are really invested in playing on that G string, they, they can almost see underneath their arm. So we want that to be nice and open for that one note so we can get a really good tone. So it's D, G, D, one, two, A, one. So there's a lot of string crossing happening there. D, A, D, E, F sharp, A, B, and then it goes A, F sharp, which is our D2, D, E, which is our finger one, F sharp, finger two, E, E. So let's try that again. A, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, E, E. And for those of you who find the finger numbers easier, I'll do that now. One, two, ready, and A, D2, zero, one, two, one, one. So let's try that whole first bit of that B section. Starting on the D, we're gonna cross over to that G string and put our first finger down. So it sounds like this. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> And now we're going to do the last line of this tune, which is pretty much the same as the beginning of that B section. So we're doing that open D, cross to the G, D, one, two, A, one, same as before. And then we're going to end with that same line, muscles in the corner, as we did before. So that's A, D2, which is our F sharp, one, which is our E. Two, zero, zero. So, now you've got the whole tune. Let's try playing the whole B section. Okay, so we're starting on our open D, crossing over, so make sure you're lifting that arm. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> the whole tune. Are you ready to play it slowly one time through? Let's do it. Um, if you feel like you're not quite ready, you can go back through and listen to any of those slow parts. Uh, and then when you are ready, you can skip to that slow playthrough section. So I'll count us in. And the tradition of playing a lot of these fiddle tunes is that you play each section through twice. 
So that's what we'll do. We'll do the A section twice and then the B section twice. So I will remind you as we're playing so you know which section we're playing and uh, we'll do it together. So let's start right from the very beginning. One, two, ready, and... section. speed it up a little bit. We'll do it at a medium speed now, okay? One, two, ready, and... that next step and make it sound even more like a fiddle tune. So what we'll do next is we'll start to add accents and embellishments to really flesh out the tune and make it sound really full and fiddly. You heard me playing right at the very beginning of the video the whole song through and obviously it sounds a little bit different from what we just played and that's because I have some extra little notes added in to flesh it out and make it sound fuller and also some bow accent to give it that extra little bit of oomph. So if you're feeling like you really want to take that extra step and you're feeling really comfortable with those notes now and you want to flesh out the tune a bit and make it sound more like a fiddle, stick around. At the very beginning of this tune, to add a little bit more texture to it, I add a couple of extra notes. So, we'll start with our normal intro for the song. But here, I'll add an extra note. So right now I have my B put down, my finger one. I'm just going to tap my C sharp, my two, um, very lightly. So that's what the sound would be rhythmically if you're playing it slow. So we, it fits in here, like that. Uh, if you were to speed it up, it would sound like this. So it's uh, pretty quick. It's just a nice light tap. Um, some people actually sort of almost pluck the string with it, but I just like to tap it down. And then we'll continue. Pretty simple. Again. Yeah, there. 
and then muscles in the corner. So it's very simple for the beginning. Um, you can also add a little bit of a bow accent there, so it'll sound like this. You have that little bit more of a forceful bow right when you're doing that accent to add a little bit more emphasis there. And then there's one more thing I like to do with that A section. Um, when you finish playing it through the first time, sometimes it's fun to approach it in a more exciting way the second time. So I like to add a bit of a little sweep up into it. So what I'm doing there is I'm just going A, B, C, D. So A, one, two, three, really quick. I'm just sort of plopping those fingers down really quick. So you might have to practice slow to start, but then the more you do it, the more your fingers will sort of remember where to go. So, um, the way that would sound if we were playing it up to speed, let's start it together. We'll start right from the very beginning. One, two, ready, and. That's the first half, our A section. Now with the B section, we'll, we'll start on the D string and do the same trill, the same extra embellishment there, one, two, one, and then continue. But I add one on this note as well, so that's from our E to our F sharp. Same fingerings, one, two, one. So it sounds like this. And then we'll do it again. Muscles in the corner. And then to go into the next round, I'll do two, one to go into that note. So that's D2, D1, open D. So that's F sharp, E, D. accents with the bow you can add on any embellishment that you've put in um, and it really does just add that little extra uh, step up level up in your playing so well, let's try it with an accent on every embellishment <laughs> playing all the way through top to bottom with those embellishments at tempo well sort of like it's a good tempo to play at but you could totally play it faster if you wanted to one two ready and <laughs> I just ended off that tune with a, a nice long embellished note where I put my finger one on the D on the G string, so that's our uh, our A, and then I'm playing the the both the D string and the G string at the same time. So that's how I ended the tune. And that's it. That's the whole tutorial. So if you liked what you heard and you felt like you learned a lot from this tutorial today, uh, feel free to press that like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll be putting out tutorial videos every week and I hope that uh, you'll stick around for the adventure. See ya!